the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time, year A. And it's another day of worship. We thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Today is the solemnity of Christ, the universal King. It is a day set out to recognize and celebrate our Lord as the real King of the universe. It is a special day in the Catholic calendar as we mark the Corpus Christi. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. We pray that He will continue to reign and rule over us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our topic for today is titled, Are you on the Lord's right or left side? Are you on the Lord's right or left side? The reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, from verse 31 to 46. Are you on the Lord's right or left side? We are told that when the time comes for our Lord to judge the world, He will sit on the throne and separate the nations and people to His right and left side. Who are on the right side? Who are the people on the right side? They are the sheep, His followers. The sheep are members of his pasture, people who obey his commandments and carry out different acts of kindness and charity. The people who are put on God's right side are his people, the people who love God, the people who obey his commandments, the people who do his will. Then the people who are put on the left side are like the goats. They are the stubborn and the disobedient people. Who refuse to follow the Lord's commandments? They don't visit the sick. They don't care for the poor. They don't feed the hungry. I ask you right now, are you on the Lord's right side or are you on the Lord's left side? I don't know your answer, but it is very important that when we live on this earth, we should be on the right side. The people that love God, the people that keep his commandment, the people that do his will, be on the right side. The right side is meant for the people of God. The left side is meant for people like God, the disobedient, the wicked, those who do not obey God, those who do not hear his word. Don't be on that left side. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will not leave this earth and come and be at your left side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is my prayer that God will help us to live as sheep under the leadership of Christ. The good shepherd. That we will be counted worthy. will be counted worthy to be on the Lord's right side at the end of our journey. Through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. I pray that you that is listening to this message, you will be on the right side. You will be on the right side of God. You will be there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please remember that today is Corpus Christi. If not COVID-19, would have been on the streets shouting Hosanna in the highest. He is the King of Kings, he is the Lord of Lords. We shall continue to hail him. We shall continue to worship him. We shall continue to shout his name, Jesus, Igwe, the king of the universe. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Amen.